But, and uh, I'm just going to run through a few one percenters. So some of the things which um, make a big difference, um, but they're very easy to do when you train. So well, the first one is one goggle in, one goggle out. So when you breathe, you freeze up. The idea is to have one goggle in the water and one goggle out. And the way you can do that is your head will create a, uh, a bow wave. So the water will run uh, down your nose and it will run around your mouth. Okay, so you keep one goggle in and one goggle out. So we're going to practice that in the pool, all right? So you get a chance to um, put these things into practice. Uh, and there's two ways to get faster. It's either take more strokes and travel the same distance, or you can take the same amount of strokes and travel the same distance. All right, so we're going to work on those two things. Is you can uh, increase your stroke rate, which you don't necessarily need to do, or you can stretch out and take less strokes. So stroke count. Um, is what a lot of the top squads practice, practice a lot of, like Jeremy, you practice a lot of stroke count stuff? Yeah, well, we, we try to make it as easy as possible, so getting higher distance per stroke is obviously going to help in, the, in a long distance event as well. Yeah, absolutely, so that's, that's what we're going to practice uh, today as well. Uh, keep your head down, so if you, assuming that you've got your head looking forward, that's going to sink your hips. Alright, so you want to keep your eyes looking to the floor, um, or just slightly forward as well. So head position um, will determine what your body is doing. Right? So use your head to lift up your body or to sink your body. And keep your kick within your body shape. So uh, a lot of times I'll see swimmers, uh, they're kicking and their legs will be going out wide. Right? So uh, they'll be out like that. Or they will be kicking way too big. Right? So you want to keep your kick within the shape of your body. Right? So you're kicking We'll talk more about kicking today, but you don't need to kick too big when you're swimming freestyle. Okay, it's about keeping it um, within the line of your body. <coughs> uh, push off on the side. So I haven't really mentioned this one before, but this is something that we got drilled with uh, training all the time when I was growing up. It's uh, push off on your side. So when you're waiting to um, to go, this is just in training. Is instead of sculling the water and, and then pushing off on your front, it's much quicker to hang onto the wall, all right, and then push off on your side. Okay, so it's, you know, it's about half a second quicker. So in, in training, when you're ready for your, your sprints or your sets, okay, push up on your side and you'll, you'll find about half a second there. And also finish on your side. So uh, rather than finishing on your front, if you rotate to the side, you can see you've got an extra 10, 15 centimeters there. Right? And that's going to, um, you know, that can be the difference between first and second. So finish on your side as opposed to your front. And the last five metres, no breathing. So in training and in your races, you should never breathe um, from the flags in, okay, when you're finishing off a race. Uh, that's because that's another half second there. If you take a breath in the last five metres, um, then you've done all that hard work for the rest of the lap, but if you, if you breathe in the last five metres, then you've just lost half a second. 